Let's go and investigate the new profile generator for Idea Maker. Idea Maker. And the first thing you want to do is this is weird, but you want to open Idea Maker. If you haven't downloaded it yet, download it, open it, and just leave it open. There's a reason for it. It, it self-links. It's hard to describe, but you want it open. So the next thing we do is we go to their profile. Now, they actually have a community, and I'm going to talk about this real quick first. If you go to forums.raise3d.com, they have all their support forums there. This is a great source for the software section, especially for idea maker support. If you have any issues, if you want to, uh, you know, suggest a, a new feature or something's wrong, this is the best place to get help. They are really good. Love them. Okay. But join up, log in, so on and so forth. But let's ignore that for now and go to the idea maker profiles. And the website is ideamaker.io. Now there's a whole buttload of pre-made profiles. Now most of these are a filament profile, but they include the printer profile with the filament profile. I know it's kind of weird. Now I don't have any of these printers. These are all the sidewinders and alpha Ys and you can import just the filament profile or the printer profile with it, which I'll show you in a bit. Um, the Creality 3D Elf Short, whatever that is. All the CR10s, Sapphires, Artillery Genius, Zerbero, and you can go on and on and on. And then these are just basically just filament profiles. There is a ton of them now. And they all work pretty good. But I have custom printers. All of my printers are, are completely rebuilt. They don't really follow any standard frame manufacturer model. So I have to do a, a custom one. And you're going to go to this window after clicking on it and you will get this whole little warning. This is very much beta and it very much is. You have to realize that this is still in beta. But it actually works pretty good. Now again, you can just import any of their pre-made I mean they have a lot all pre-made set up ready to go. But I don't have any of those. So I'm going to go with mine. Max Micron. Which nobody in the world has anymore but me. There's probably ten of them left in the world. <laughs> uh, yeah, I want, a, I want the lowercase i. Submit. Okay, and then you just basically do like the wizard would. But it's a little bit nicer. Whoops. 190. Now it's actually a 200 by 200 by 200 but I've modified it and it kind of lost some of its size so this is just for safety I could actually go taller I can actually go wider but it's like pushing it and I don't need to I have bigger printers um, it is a single extruder it uses a 0.4 nozzle it is direct drive and then you go on now here's the only place it's a little weird because it has a heated bed so you put it in um, this relative extrusion thing, I understand what it does. What I don't know is if you actually need it or not. No, I did. I, I don't. I'm not sure. I'm not sure which G codes need it and which don't. Um, I believe with Marlin you can leave it off. I think you can turn it on. I don't think it matters. I usually turn it on. And also, there's no G codes here. Now, I have my own custom G codes. And here's the start G code. And what this does is put a prime line down the left side of the printer before it actually starts printing. And I also have a base, pretty much generic but slightly custom end one. I will put it in the description or give you a link to it somewhere if anyone wants to use it. It, it works pretty well. Um, not for everyone. It does it on the left side. And then you use the generic, again, you can use any of the pre-made filament styles, whether you want PLA, PTG, ABS, ASA, PC, or nylon, or a different dimension. But for me, I'm going to just leave it generic, PLA 1.75, and hit next. Then it's going to go into the last configuration of your printer, and 
layer height shells and fill density generate supports I can always change that I much prefer a skirt as my default another weird thing I found here is I can't type in 0.7 it always goes to 7 what you have to do is type 1 and then hit your down key forever and ever and ever you can also just use the arrow right here I like 0.7 for this printer I also do only a 50 degree bed because again it's just PLA and why waste the energy and heat my room when I don't need to I actually kick that up in the winter to actually heat my room I know it sounds crazy but I do um, <laughs> my elder shell speed I kick up to 35 just because I know with this printer I do and generate are you sure you want to generate it yes I'm pretty sure I do okay now you can download the profile or you can import directly to idea maker I found this importing to be glitchy sometimes it works sometimes it doesn't so I download it just to make sure I have it and then I go and try and import into idea maker now as long as idea maker is open supposedly it sees this link in your computer's software RAM saving wherever you wherever the save is for copying so if you copy it okay copy the link and then return to idea maker and this window should pop right up the minute you return to idea maker this download template window should pop right up which sometimes it does sometimes it doesn't <laughs> and just hit download and it's gonna ask you to download successful click next to import the template next now the one thing I do want to do is I've created a excuse me I created a new printer so I want to create a new printer I don't need all this information here and that's pretty much done okay boom now I have a new printer everything's ready for it it's all set up and ready to go there's my new printer profile it also pre comes with because you set it up with a PLA manage templates I have a max micron generic template which now I can edit to my heart's content and I found these um, generic imported profiles are pretty darn good they're not perfect like the first thing I do is I never do a 0.3 layer height for a start I always do 0.2 and if I want it even I always do a 0.2 layer height for a start no matter what pretty much that's it <laughs> and I take this override and I kick it up to about 96 and save and that's pretty much all I do to the generics now I haven't done it with this printer yet but there it is and that's how you get it in there now you just add a item and slice it and again you can edit it to your heart's content but there you go that's it uh, that's how you use the uh, Idea Maker Profile Importer. Hope it helped you. Give it a try.